Good morning everyone. Today we're going to be covering events that were happening literally 155 years ago at this time. 300 miles to the east in a tiny town that was called Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Now, during Lee's invasion of the north, Lee had given very specific instructions to his commanders and to his men of how they were to conduct themselves while they were in enemy country up north. Now, one of the main thing was there was to be no pillaging. There were a couple of small residences here and there, but for the more part, he said, if you're going to grab something, you make sure you pay for it and you do it the right way. You don't just walk into someone's house and start taking stuff. Lee was determined to make sure that his army did not repeat what much of the Union Army had been doing in the South. <clears throat> so they were saying if you're gonna if you're gonna need their horse or need something like that or need some of their equipment for your supplies, you are to pay them in Confederate currency, which was pretty much worthless and most everyone knew this. And so if they if the person who was having their property taken didn't want to use the Confederate currency, he could simply have a Confederate quartermaster come and give him fair market value and give him a document saying, Yes, I we took this, that's worth this amount of money, yada yada yada. So that was something he really wanted to make sure was that the Confederate Army conduct itself well in the north. Because uh, many Northerners were worried as the Confederate Army was coming through what was going to happen. They didn't take any of the fences down to be built for firewood. They didn't do anything like that. Everything they took, they paid for. So they conducted themselves in good order, which was something that was very important to Lee in light of how much of the Union Army had behaved in the South. <clears throat> and, but then Lee had still had another problem. He did not know what lied ahead of him. He had not heard from his cavalry commander, General Stewart, in several days. They didn't, he did not know where he was. He did not know what was in front of him. It got to where he became so anxious by this that literally everyone who came and went, Lee was asking, have you seen General Stewart? Do you have word of General Stewart? And he finally started saying quite plainly, where is my cavalry? And he had no idea what was ahead of him which was so unlike Stewart, because usually a day or two would go by when he was up doing stuff and he'd report, but he hadn't reported to Lee in several days, and they were marching blind in enemy country. They were heading toward Harrisburg, but they had no idea what was in front of them. So those were some of the things that were happening at this very moment from the Confederate side. There you go.